What's happening, guys? Welcome back to the YouTube home of Memory Lane Comics and Toys. I'm Jake. I'm Ben. We're here with this week's Picks of the Week. Ben, what are you feeling so far? Feeling is an understatement for how I feel about this issue of Outcast. Outcast number 11, best issue yet, and it's been a slow burn. We've talked about this a couple of times before. Slow burn, but man, I gotta say, best issue yet. It grabs you, it brings in the family, the devil guy that's walking around and like threatening people. He's, he's starting to really get at the central characters of the story and it pulls you in and it kind of leads you where things might be going and it's a direction we haven't seen yet and that's why I'm so excited yeah. about it and I can't say anymore else I'll spoil it for you but you really got to catch up on this book. What about for you, Jake? I'm going to stick with the Secret Wars stuff. It's been Red Skull number two. This one's got such an awesome dichotomy mix between the Nazi Red Skull and the Jewish Magneto, and they're both kicking butt and trying to understand each other. This was a lot of fun. I love the dialogue that Josh Williamson puts in there. You can't miss this book. It's been really great. My second pick of the week is another book that's just kind of getting started. It's another number two. Something that we talked about before. The number one was my pick of the week for me that yeah. Jake didn't particularly enjoy. But I'm going to stick with it. We stand on guard. I believe in Brian K. Vaughn. I believe in his story. And this is another issue that felt a little bit short. But you can really see where they're going with this overly fascist, crazy... Uh, regime in America that's like that they you know they're walking around calling all the Canadians nucks and and which is like it's pretty, apparently it's pretty offensive. I don't the know. way it I don't I didn't know it was offensive but the way that they say it makes it seem really offensive and they kind of take this another this other step and like kind of lead you into what the insurgency that they're building is going to be uh, it's going to go against America and I just love this issue it's another one that you got to catch up on very easy to do because we got both issues in here. My next pick is going to be Civil War number two. I'm sticking with this. the Secret Wars thing has been so much fun. And I can't yeah. stop. I can't get enough of it. Can't um, walk away. This one really has some cool uh, kind of twists and turns. We start to see what's going on between Steve and Tony and this whole split in America. I, I love seeing more and more about who's picked sides, like post the original Secret Wars graphic Absolutely. novel. If you like that, you just cannot go wrong with this one. It's no. been a lot of and fun. Use artwork. I mean, come on. It's worth it. Like you could have no words and it'd be worth it. It's beautiful. It rules. <laughs> now we got to talk about our shared pick of the week. It's Nailbiter, guys. We've talked about this book so many times, and just like the one that I was talking about before, um, uh, just like the one I was talking about before, it is the best issue of a long-running series. In my opinion, it was the best issue yet. It raised the stakes, just like the last one we thought raised the stakes. I didn't even know how high stakes could be raised until this issue. Yeah, I thought I thought this was the cap. We're up here now. Let's do it, man. Let's keep going. Uh, higher. So Josh basically, Williamson keeps taking us Joshua there. Williams keeps taking us there. We finally see kind of what the plan is behind all these Buckaroo Butchers, and there's there's so many more than we thought, and there's it goes so much deeper than we thought, and they bring about a lot of crazy questions about uh, what they're doing, and they're talking about how it's to save lives, and it it just goes crazy from there, and you can't miss this issue. I mean, we're still in the the graveyard of the Buckaroo Butchers, just kind of kicking it around there, having a good time. Unbelievable issue, best issue yet. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've really enjoyed how Joshua is and just keeps on raising the bar. And I think early on in the series, I just like, where does this go from here? How does yeah. it, how how do the, uh, these all connect? And he's actually got a plan, and it's kind of yeah. freaking me out. It's really really good. And you can't miss this stuff, guys. For our specials this week, we got any consecutive issues. So you're talking about number three and number four, number one, number two, number five, number six, number seven, number eight. If you want to pick up any of those, if you pick up two, we'll give you twenty percent off. If you pick up three, we'll give you thirty percent off, and that's three or more. So you can grab as many as you want from that same series. 30% off as long All as All new books free. like We Stand on Guard from Brian K. Vaughn, which we've already talked about, Starfire, Black Canary, We, we Are, Are Robin. Robin. I mean, it's it's all over the board. Our other special, 10% off all action figures in the store. It's got to exclude Hot Toys. We're sorry, but we got to do it. But anything else in the store, yeah, anything on. else at all anything that's else? an action figure, 10% off. Funko Pops, all that cool stuff. Yeah, Let's see absolutely. You. Well, guys, that's our picks of the week. We can't wait to see you around the store. All kinds of brand new, really cool stuff. Check our website to see more information. We'll see you soon. Later on. Thanks for watching our video, guys. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos on MLC TV on YouTube. Check out our website, mlcshop.com. You can find all kinds of cool new information, all of our picks of the week. It's an awesome website. And if you're ever in Wilmington, don't forget to stop by and check us out. we got a huge shop we love to share with the world. And thanks, guys.